Hey VC, this is Ron. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to do a special dedication. I'm going to dedicate this video to a VC member which I've not seen done before. So I'm going to dedicate this video to Funnyface26. And he lives over in the motherland in the United Kingdom. And I'm going to show my US 60s pressings of animals, kinks, and yard birds. So we're going to move over to the bar, take a look at them from there. So, ready, steady, go! Okay, we're going to get started with the Animals albums. And before we get started, I just want to say that a lot of the U.S. record companies, they found it a common practice to remove uh, tracks from the original British releases, set them aside, add singles from the U.K., add uh, EP tracks, and they would actually manipulate the albums, change the titles, covers, um, actually some cases actually create a whole nother album. So um, this is actually the first US Animals album. And uh, this is a mono copy. And there's the song titles. Now on the second pressing there will be a picture of the animals right here. So this is the first pressing and the back just has little uh, bios of band members and so forth. And this is the original inner sleeve that it came with and it is on a black MGM label. Here's the second U.S. album, Animals on Tour. And it has extensive liner notes. Here's the third. This is a mono copy Animal Tracks. Now this picture was actually used on the front cover of the UK Animal Tracks. Liner Notes by Mickey Most. This is Animalization, the fourth US LP by the Animals. And this is a mono copy. As you can see, it came out of a cutout bin. Now this is about the point, on this photo, this is about the point that uh, animals were changing. Alan Price and Dave uh, Roberry left, and uh, so there's a couple of new members there. And you see on the back, there's actually a picture of Dave, uh, that he was the drummer. Um, I don't know why that is, but he may play on some of these tracks. This is a stereo copy of Animalization. Now this is all true stereo except for one song. Inside Looking Out is in rechanneled stereo. And this, in the UK, the songs that are on this album was actually called animalisms and it had a, a different cover and uh, this is the US animalisms but actually it's just animalism and 
this is a stereo copy. There's one track on here that was produced by Frank Zappa. And it is... Oh, it escapes me right now. But I think it was actually written by him as well. I'll flash the title on the screen for you. Here's the liner notes. Okay, that does it for the Animals albums I wanted to show. At this point, the Animals had splintered. Uh, Eric Burden did another album uh, after this one. It was called Eric Is Here. And it was just basically a bunch of studio musicians. Um, to me, that's probably about the worst Animals album that there is. Um, but now we're going to get started on some Kinks. This is a stereo copy of the first Kinks album, You Really Got Me. The hot group from England, the Kinks, sing their smash hit, You Really Got Me, and other great bundles from Britain. Now the record company removed three tracks from this album, which will later be released on other Kinks LPs. I think the second one. Um, there's a picture of the Kinks by Tower Bridge by the River Thames. And I'd like to ask Funny Face if he's ever visited that same spot. And is that cannon still there? Um, if he has a picture of himself standing uh, in that area, I would love to see him show it. And uh, here's the liner notes. Okay, I don't have an, 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 a very, very first pressing of this. Um, the very, very first pressings will say Pop Series up in this area right here. And I've actually seen one of those. I can't remember. I believe it was stereo. So there may be a stereo and a mono Pop Series label. And this is... Uh, This is mainly, I think if I remember right, this is mainly all true stereo. Okay, and here's the mono version of it. No real difference between the cover at all. Here's Kink Size, the second U.S. Kinks album. And this has kind of got the same setup as the first Animals album did with the, uh, you know, the information about the individual band members. Okay, here's the third album, and it's Kinda Kinks. You can see a typo there, the first song on side two, it says Every Bobby. 
Now, if you take the word Bobby and you translate, translate that into UK slang, that means every policeman's going to be happy. <laughs> Which I don't think was the case. <laughs> They're eavesdropping the kinks. Okay, the next one is Kinks Kinkdom. Now, there are some U.S. pressings that actually have a well-respected man in large print right here. And I think those are the, the fake uh, rechanneled stereo copies. This is a mono copy. Kind of an early psychedelic cover there. And it, incidentally, it does have See My Friends, which is a kind of an early psych cut that the Kinks did. Has kind of an Eastern psych flavor to it. This is a really nice copy of the Kinks Controversy in Mono. And uh, I've had, you know, a lot of these Kinks albums I've had since the 80s. And uh, these are in really nice condition except for this one. This one's about VG. And I've always wanted to upgrade this one, but I just have never actually come across a copy to do it, you know. And I haven't really searched eBay to try and upgrade that, but yeah, the rest of these are all pretty pretty nice. And this is a really clean copy here of the Kinks controversy. And I believe that's an earlier photo from probably from the same photo session as their first album. They have the same suits on. The many moods of the kinks raise up the kink controversy. Kinks fan club. The kinkdom come. Now how cool is that? This is the greatest hits in mono. And this is the Live Kinks in mono. Now this album actually is released in, in stereo as well, true stereo, but the monos uh, have a much fuller sound and uh, just pack more of a wallet than the stereo does. So you definitely want the mono version of this. And this is the same as Live at Kevin Hall. And uh, this, this album had a totally different cover in the UK. Look at that, an orgy for ears. The Kinks in live concert. Okay, now we're going on to some yard birds. 
and this is the first US Yardbirds album for your love and this is a stereo copy and this was released in true stereo except for sweet music which is rechanneled I do not have a mono copy but that is definitely on my want list Uh, this is uh, having a rave up with the Yardbirds. And this is a, a, one of those albums that I was talking about where the record companies would kind of create their own album. So this has got tracks from uh, EPs, singles, whatever, that was originally released in the UK. And then on side two, they've got tracks from five live Yardbirds. And this is a mono copy. And these are on the yellow Epic label, by the way. I just showed this one, but I'm, I'm going to flash it again because it's just part of the pile. Mono copy and uh, stereo copy is on my want list as well. And then uh, this album I've had about 25 years. The, the vinyl itself is in near mint condition and I remember exactly what I paid for this. I paid $35 in around 1990, which was a pretty hefty sum, but uh, this is really clean and uh, it's just these don't turn up that often so I'm glad that I got it and I don't believe this one was re originally released in the UK which is kind of odd um, some of the songs may have been but as far as the whole album I don't believe it was And this also has uh, the instrumental White Summer, which Led Zeppelin would later do live in concert, acoustic number. And this is a true stereo copy on Epic. And this is uh, Live Yard Birds, the LP that was uh, withdrawn because uh, Page did not give his approval for it to be released. So it may have only been on the shelves maybe six months at the most. You can see there it's got the track I'm Confused, which uh, is actually uh, the original title of Dazed and Confused. And there's a uh, white summer again. Now I'm pretty sure this was not released in the UK as well. It seems like the UK got shortchanged on a lot of yard birds for some reason, especially towards the end of their career.
this copy is pretty nice but uh, I remember um, in the late 90s I had a chance to buy a totally near mint copy of this the guy had fifty dollars on it it was at a record show I probably could have uh, bargained with him on it but it was just a lot of money at the time and uh, I did not pick it up I wish I would have splurged and got it because it really was a beautiful copy so anyway yeah as you can see this was recorded live at the Anderson Theater in New York on March 30th 1968 liner notes by Lenny K okay guys that does it hope you enjoyed this and Jason I hope you learned a thing or two looking at these Take care, man.